Wing segment is sponsored by the New York Alliance Against Insurance Fraud. Well, registering and insuring your vehicle using someone else's address to avoid paying higher insurance premiums can really get you into a lot of trouble. And it's a problem in states all across the country, including right here in New York. Joining me now is Ellen Melchioni, a uh, board member with the New York Alliance Against Insurance Fraud. And we thank you so much for being here today. Um, you're here to talk to us about rate evasion and registration fraud. What does the Alliance do to stop those issues? Well, first of all, the New York Alliance Against Insurance Fraud is a nonprofit organization, and it's comprised of more than 100 different insurance companies that voluntarily contribute to a public relations campaign to help raise awareness about insurance fraud. Um, as we know, fraud is a huge problem, not only in New York, New York State, as you mentioned, but all across the country. Nationally, they estimate that fraud costs $80 billion per year. So we are seeing that um, honest policyholders such as us end up paying more for insurance fraud as it's being committed. But as you said, rate evasion and registration fraud is where somebody takes their vehicle driving in New York here and they register it in another state to uh, escape paying the high premiums that they may have to face, especially New York City where they may register their vehicle uh, or buy insurance for their vehicle upstate in our communities and that just raises the cost for all of us. Right. How, I mean, how do you catch somebody in the act of doing that? You have to probably prove that uh, they actually live somewhere else than they're well, claiming to. It's difficult to catch people, but the insurance companies do have fraud investigators, and they do a good job about investigating it. There was one scam that was uncovered because they had um, a number of vehicles, more than 1,600 vehicles that were being driven in New York and residents of New York, but they were registered in Pennsylvania. So they were registered to 14 addresses, all of those vehicles, and so that means 120 vehicles per address. So that's <laughs> how they caught those vehicle, caught those uh, fraudsters. How much money uh, are people, uh, how much money is being saved when somebody, uh, you know, cheats and says that they, you know, have a different address? Well, it's hard to to put a figure on those numbers because you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. But as I said, it's estimated that fraud costs across the nation $80 billion annually. And that means millions of dollars to New Yorkers that have to pay more for insurance. In addition to the costs that are associated with it, there's a safety issue. One of the scams involved a Brooklyn family that were registering their vehicles in Pennsylvania. They were driving in Brooklyn and they had a number of vehicles. Some of them were uh, multi-passenger uh, vehicles and they were using them to transport children back and forth to school in a school bus scam. So they didn't have the proper insurance, uh, they didn't have the appropriate liability limits and so it's a safety issue as well as since law enforcement if there's an accident they can't find those exact individuals. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us about this. I, I, I don't think a lot, a lot of people knew about it, so thanks for shedding a light on the issue. And um, we have some information for you. You can call the number on your screen right here, 1-844-FRAUD-NY, for more information. Thank you again.